Hello, I am Steven Santana with Illustrious Magic, and this is the channel update for 2024. Looking over the things that I was able to do in 2023, uh, I feel like I was a little too hard on myself uh, for not accomplishing anything, even when I've actually been pretty consistent in the past year of putting out stuff. I haven't done as many videos as I would have liked to do, um, but I definitely was writing and sort of just kind of pursuing whatever it was that occupied my mind at the time. And I was able to pretty much put out stuff, uh, at least three or four things uh, every month um, for the whole of 2023. So that was actually kind of cool. Currently, I'm preoccupied with The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, which is a very long game. Uh, and I'm curious what will come first, whether uh, the end credits or my interest waning. Uh, currently, there are enough unknown spaces within it um, from both the depths to the changes in the overworld and the sky islands that... Uh, I've actually been pretty easily been able to swap between whatever it is that I'm currently interested in. And once I get tired of that, I pretty much just switch it over to something different. Uh, I do want to do a response to the Jared Prescove article about Tears of the Kingdom uh, that got shared on the Superculture Discord sometime last year. Uh, when I originally read it, I had not yet played the game. And now playing the game, I have agreements and disagreements. So I kind of want to do a sort of response discussion piece about it uh, a little bit similar to what i did last year where i responded to the uh, live service ruin gaming by november hotel on youtube i'm not sure if i should be sending these write-ups directly to the person i'm responding to especially if, because i'm a nobody online and i have no relationship with them so i don't i feel like that would make it feel like the writing would be interpreted as hostile which i don't want to do uh and also i'm really just don't, I'm no, I don't know these people, uh, so it would just kind of seem a little weird. But anyway, uh, I kinda, I wanna, I've wanna. i already printed out and written some notes on Presco's article, uh, stuff that I agree and disagree with, and I kind of want to just do like a write-up just as an exercise of kind of uh, feeling, making, making my own feelings a little bit stronger uh, as far as what I agree with and disagree with when it comes to that specific game. Some other current ideas include a video version of my home front writing that I did last year, uh, I do overall want to be more consistent with videos, but they just take so long to record and edit. Uh, I want to continue the games, media, and review series. I might do a wrap-up uh, once I reach the anniversary of the first one I did for IGN and revisit them as well. I do also want to continue the game difficulty videos, namely next would be Demon Souls and God of War 3 and also Resistance 2. Mostly I'm keeping it to the PlayStation 3 uh, as it's set up here at the desk for recording and playing, uh, as is the PlayStation 4, but I pretty much never touch that anymore. Uh, now I have a typewriter as well, and I want specifically to do something on the Alan Wake series, uh, but that will require quite a lot of playing, uh, both as Alan Wake 1, Alan Wake 2, American Nightmare, the DLCs, and of course there's more upcoming DLC, and also the final draft which i haven't it's just it's the new game plus for alan wake 2 that i haven't completely played through yet i started up new games in both alan wake remastered which is the first time i'm playing that as i mostly played it on the 360 and alan wake 2 which i already played through uh, in its entirety pretty much when it came out last year and really enjoyed it uh also there's uh the control dlc uh, awe which i totally forgot about but that's also something that would have to be touched on but basically i want to do something on the typewriter as a piece on Alan Wake because it seems very fitting given the content and themes of Alan Wake. So uh, I'm not sure how I would present it. However, I can do I can easily scan copies of the typewritten work. But as far as where to host it and how to present it, uh, I don't really have any ideas yet on how to make that something that can be easily read online. Uh, there's lots of ideas that I always keep track of uh, on my online document. Uh, one would be a natural follow-up to the Bodies We Leave Behind piece, which I just did this month, which would be Who We Kill. Uh, now, I'm not sure if I want it to be a brief or lengthy survey of the people and types of enemies that we pick to be the ones we kill in shooters and other similar games. Some other shooting ideas that I've had for a while uh, is sort of like a hit scan versus projectile enemies in games, a uh, thing Call of Duty versus Doom, and also the weapon wheel versus the limited carry games. So basically, Hi Halo versus like Half Life 2. 
Uh, I do want to still do something on movies. One of my resolutions for this year is basically to watch more new movies. I resub to Criterion and uh, just picked the first movie that came up and just watched it. And I had a really good time, uh, enjoyed it. And so I kind of want to keep doing that, especially because I'm also watching Sneak Preview with Siskel and Ebert. I've been binging that. On, uh, there's a YouTube playlist online that I've been following and watching as I do work. And sort of it's been background noise and something to watch as well. Uh, and it's been very insightful as far as the attitudes um, during that time. But I want to do something on that. I also kind of want to like riff on it and do a sort of exercise where uh, I composite myself on both sides of the couch. Uh, I think that would be like an interesting sort of thing to do as far as filming, editing, writing, acting it out. Uh, it would just be a fun exercise to do to try and uh, be both sides of a of a similar sort of talking about a movie. Uh, it's also just hard to do movie stuff because YouTube is so strict on the copyright enforcement. I tried to do that test on the Return of the Living Dead, uh, but that, of course, got a copyright strike immediately. And it was pretty difficult to publish without you know, just totally taking out those clips or muting them. Or I know a lot of other people will like um, inverse and color grade it to death in order to be able to present the clip without YouTube coming down on them. So it's it's, it's difficult, uh, but I still want to do something on movies. So I hope to keep up the attitude I had for most of 2023, which was basically just to kind of pursue whatever it was that I was interested in at the time and not really try to hammer myself too much for not fulfilling the self-imposed quota, uh, which I feel like I always am very hard on myself for doing, even though, like I said, looking over everything that I was able to do last year without, you know, really killing myself over it, I actually was able to put out a lot of stuff. Uh, so there'll be a list of it, but we'll have links to everything. I'll probably put it out on Substack, which also Substack has been doing the Exodus thing where a lot of the writers have been taking issue with some of the policies that Substack's been doing. And so now I'm like, okay, well, do I want to quit and try another newsletter type platform or i don't know so it, it's whatever um but yeah so uh, i hope to consistently make more videos uh, even if they're more sort of lightly edited and simple fare i still want to make more videos than i did last year i think is the one thing that i would try and hold myself to this year uh, but as always thanks for watching thanks for letting me uh talk and wax poetic about uh what my plans are for the year Hopefully I'm able to get half of what I would like to get done uh, because that would be a lot because there's just always so much that I want to do and never enough time in the day to do it. So as always, thank you for watching.